Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and this is Sassy Life Story. Today's video is going to be a wrap up of my April budget. So I'm just going to be going through all the different categories of my April budget. I don't really know if people prefer just me talking about it or doing the top down view. I do track in my bullet journal. Um, so if you have a preference, let me know. I'm just gonna do a talking video today and fill in my numbers. So what I do in my bullet journal, um, I also track with my Google Sheets. I have different formulas and everything so I can just keep track of all my categories on the go. But I do have things in my bullet journal so I put down what I did for like spending, purchases, any money going out, and then I have my different categories over here so that's what I'm gonna talk through today. In April, I did not do a very good job actually writing down when I was spending money so I'm gonna try to be better about that in May. I did have a goal of like getting really on top of what my rollover amount is, but I'm just really confused by what I've done with that. So in my um, like formulas and everything, it doesn't add up right, but here we are. And I think part of that is because for my inflow, I'm tracking the rollover, um, what I get from my like job and then any other income. So if I sell something on Poshmark, if I were to get a gift, of money um, for something, which I don't think I did, um, doing surveys, cash back, anything like that, all goes into other. And I'm tracking my interest there. So I think part of the reason why my rollover isn't calculating correctly is because interest is coming in into my inflow area, but it's not in my checking account. So I think that's why I'm confused, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through. So my rollover that came in was 858.60, I think. That could have been wrong and that could be part of why I'm off also. But my other income was 396.20. And from work, it was $4,942 and $97. Um, so there you can see what that looks like, hopefully. Um, so my work was right on what I expected. Um, and the other was higher. I anticipated $175 and my actual was almost $400. So quite a bit more there, but next month I probably won't have a whole lot in that category because um, I did do some different cashback stuff from like my credit cards. So all of that is kind of not something that I'm gonna have in the next month. So my total in this category was $6,197.77. Um, so that was more than expected by $222.77. So pretty much all just in that other category. Um, I will also, however, have a difference in May. I'm going to put slightly less money towards my HSA. I'm gonna stop putting money towards my HSA in my second paycheck. Um, so my first paycheck will be like half of what my employer amount was this month, but then my next paycheck will maybe be slightly higher. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that will end up being, but we'll see. Um, my mortgage is $1319.60, um, which is going down slightly for next month because we were slightly overpaying. Uh, it's going back down by like $8 or something. So it's gonna affect me by about $4. My phone storage was $299, parking is $85, internet is $87.95. On groceries, I spent $345.12, um, which was under by $4.88, so that was awesome. I was on track, um, but really my husband just ended up buying more groceries in the month, I think. I think I might need to look at how that's gonna shake out over time. Gas, I spent exactly $45 because I knew that was what I put down in my notebook. So when I got gas, I stopped it at 45. So it was slightly under full tank, but I, I don't need gas again yet. So that was fine. And then for pets, it was over, I budgeted $99, I budgeted $100, sorry. And I ended up spending $153.99, which was half of a vet visit. Um, we brought our dog in to get a shot he needed to be boarded next month. Um, and they did like an exam and he ended up getting two shots, not just one. And we bought another um, type of flea and heartworm medication because he hates the one we currently have. We just bought like one pill to try that one instead. 
So there was a lot more stuff going on at the vet visit than we anticipated, um, which was totally fine. It was just, you know, $50 extra, not a big deal. So in this, I call my bills category, basically just things that I can't really not pay for. Theoretically, some of these charges could go down if I really needed to, but generally they're things that are just going to stay pretty constant. I budgeted $1,990.54 and I ended up spending $2,039.65. So about a $50 difference there, all in that vet category pretty much because the groceries were just slightly under, so a little bit, pretty much $50. Okay, so so far so good, right? The next section is the problem. So this is my extra section and this is where I've been getting into trouble. So first I have gifts. I spent $123.97 on gifts and that's fine with me. I budgeted a hundred and I spent more and it's totally okay. I wasn't sure what to get my brother for his birthday. So I kind of got him two different things and I didn't know in advance when I was gonna get him. So it just was a little bit more than I was thinking, which is totally fine. I am also paying for a subscription for my husband that was part of his Christmas gift. Um, so that's part of it too. And that's just a constant. So I was over by about $20, which is okay. However, the next category is my self category and this was way over. So I spent $164.42. So not good. Um, what did I buy? I bought new facial cottons to use for like removing um, sunscreen or makeup at the end of the day, or if I need to apply things with a facial cotton. Um, what else did I buy? $20 uh, for food, for paying somebody back. She got me food for lunch um, at work, but I did only do that once this month. So that was a good positive. Um, and then, so we're, we were okay there, but then I went to Target and I got a sunscreen to try, a face wash to try and a dress, which I do like the sunscreen and the dress. I haven't tried the face wash yet. Um, which I really didn't need more sunscreens, but I've started a new uh, series of testing drugstore sunscreens, so it'll be in one of those eventually, and I'll link that as well. Um, I did also get some sunscreens from Walgreens, $13 there, and the big kicker was $71 um, for a eyeshadow palette and highlighter that I got from Kaleidos Cosmetics um, and it was a like a collab with a YouTuber that I like to watch and I really liked the eyeshadow palette and I actually asked my husband to get it for me for my birthday back in February but it sold out really fast in that restock and I didn't really or that might have been the first stock of it but I didn't really know that that was going to happen and I didn't really tell him so he didn't know so he didn't get it for me obviously um, so I've been looking at it since then and I went ahead and bought it this month and yeah, I budgeted $75 for self and I spent $164.42. Um, and I don't, I don't know what I'm doing about this category because it's not going well. Uh, I think last month in March, let me just go back and look. So last month in March, I spent over by $28, but my budget was only 50. Um, but in February, I was under because I budgeted 200 and I only spent 168. And I think I did something similar in January. So I don't know if I'm gonna set maybe a higher budget for myself and then just try to stay under it. I think that's working better for me than having it be lower and then I, I don't make it. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that and I'll have a video about May at some point, but um, Anyway, I spent over by like $90. So that is what happened. Um, next, I have my other category, which I don't budget anything in, but I did have to spend $153 in my other category, even though I budgeted nothing because I needed to change a flight to see my brother graduate um, from college and yeah, we just missed changing it for free and that's what happened. Oh goodness, I slightly messed up. So my pets category was actually 152.43 and my other is 153.99, but I put 153.99 in my pets category also. So there was like a dollar difference, but it's fine. So in my extras category, I budgeted 275 and I spent 
442.38. Um, so about $440. That means I was off by about $267 in that um, area, which, you know, the other in the gift category is not really a big deal. You know, that's why I keep a buffer in my accounts so that I can cover things like a little bit extra gift money or changing a flight if that's something that's needed. Um, I mean, the last time I was on a flight was like a year ago or yeah, probably almost a year ago, but that's just, you know, something that happened and it's totally fine. I would like to really address that self category though, because that's where I'm got more of an issue. Um, so then in my savings category, I budgeted 3000 and I sent 3000, um, and I didn't do any extra investing this month from my budget or otherwise. Um, but in my rollover section, what I'm putting down as what I have is six eighty five ninety seven. dollars um, So that went down from what I estimated was $800, so it's about $115 off, um, which is, you know, those areas where I had extra money that came in, but I also had more money that went out than that. So I'll just hold this up so you can see um, the different categories. Um, so this is that inflow area. This is that bills, uh, my extras, my um, saving or investing and my rollover. So overall, not the worst month. Um, I am still on track on my savings goals, so I'll go ahead and show you. My savings tracker for the year so far um, is doing great. Each box is $100, so I am pretty proud of that. Um, it's looking awesome, and I also am tracking my yearly spending here, so I'll probably do an update on that soon as well. Um, maybe actually probably at the end of June, I'll do another update on that. I did do just a talk through of everything I spent my money on for myself in the first quarter of the year. If you're interested in hearing how I felt about all those purchases, I feel like I ended up spending a bunch of money on myself in April. Um, so, you know, the first quarter was good and then I kind of went a little crazy last month. So hopefully this new month of May will be a good one and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching my zero based budget closeout for April. I really enjoy this budgeting process in my bullet journal and my Google Sheets, um, looking at everything. Um, so, you know, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. If you'd like me to go more into depth in my Google Sheets, I can do that too. Um, but it's really very simple. So let me know in a comment, like, subscribe if you're interested. I have a bunch of other budget videos that you can check out too. Um, and I will link that for you now. Bye.